This is a journey of me trying to reach Unreal Rank for the very first time in Fortnite as we jump into all of my games as I progress through the different ranks on this journey, starting off with Silver. I was all the way down in Silver 1, like almost in Bronze, because I literally have just never played any rank since this mode was introduced. In this journey, I'm going to start to find my favorite drop spots, my favorite weapons, and just learn and I feel like become a far better Fortnite player as I have highlights from all of my best games from all of the different ranks. And the position I actually ended up jumping into here, I, I never returned to this part of the island as my drop spot as I was starting to just experiment, find different areas on the map I was comfortable with that would give me enough loot, but not be too popular that loads of people would land there as well. Smart pistol in hand, shotgun, and also assault rifle. Obviously, in the silver ranks, most people are not the best in the world. But what was most exciting is that with public games of Fortnite outside of ranks, um, there's loads of bots. And jumping into ranked mode, though you do occasionally, I think, still find bots at the very lower ranks, pretty much everyone is real players. And it is so refreshing to actually go into a game and just focus on real players taking down real people and taking things a lot more seriously picking up a sniper here i had so much fun and i'm sure loads of you guys have as well just learning and playing and messing around with snipers this season the snipers are obviously absolutely deadly one shot kills to the head although i like to think i landed quite a lot of shots it was also possible that people were landing a lot of shots on me as well. So I had to really hone in my ability of aiming well and getting those shots in and making sure that I was making them count as much as possible. Now, just general tips for any of you guys that are playing ranked and watching this journey or maybe going on the journey for yourself when it comes to actually points and the way that the point system works within rank is that the obviously more players you take down, the longer you survive, and the better your positioning uh, your actual final position in the game, the more points you get. And in these earlier ranks, I had so much fun bragging out and just enjoying myself because taking down all of these players, it felt like just a mode that I had to focus up in. Woo! There we go. Another sniper elimination and something that actually meant more. I hadn't been playing a lot of Fortnite really up until this point. Oh, that was a nice one as well. I'll take it. And getting into ranked has made me play so much more Fortnite. I, if you did not know, am now a dad. And I actually got my son to help me uh, control my game of Fortnite recently. But outside of recording my videos during the day, I play a little bit of Fortnite. But I've now started jumping on in the evening and playing for many hours as well. Just because of how much fun I've been having. So we're in silver rank here. Obviously, we've got to get through then silver 1, silver 2 and silver three to get all the way up into gold but luckily the positioning uh, and points you get in these lower ranks they give you a load if you do end up getting a really good final result and final position as well you get to know all of the weapons you start to like to use really nice long range sh sniper shot there as well and i was just having so much fun at this point in the game picking up snipers for the first time oh my goodness it was absolutely awesome now, at this point, you're typically finding people that are bang on your rank. But some people like this, like they're sniping. They are hitting their shots, but I'm hitting my shots back. They're positioning really well. As we go into a top two situation here, 15 eliminations to my name right now. Pulling out the sniper, close range, getting that hit in, finishing off with some shots. And the amount of points here that you're going to get is going to be absolutely beautiful. Flying me all the way up from my lowest rank all the way up into gold as we progress on to the next tier baby and i'm hoping that at the beginning of the next season i get ranked a little bit higher than silver so i can start off a little bit better now this spot here this little building starts to become a building that i really get to know really start to enjoy and start to aim for at the beginning of games as i got through the ranks more people actually went for this area and it became a little bit more contested but here, there's actually a chance to get um, and hire an NPC that is really, really useful and arguably a little bit overpowered, actually, in competitive modes and in ranked modes as well. And I got used to being contested a decent amount off spawn, but also knowing where to go to pick up loot. And I was trying to rotate here, though it's got harder at the higher ranks. I'd start to ro rotate over to fencing fields because the mythic, boom, and the medallion, boom, basically means that you've got yourself set up so well. I started to get really into modding and know which weapon mods I wanted to put on my snipers. I'd always have for two times, the quicker ADS time and the bigger mag give me five shots, meaning I have to reload less as well. Nice little hit there. And I was really starting to enjoy another really nice hit there. 
really starting to enjoy sniping so, so much. Cars are so important as I completely fail. Go on, get through the wall, Alley. Cars are so important in zero build. I'm playing solo. I'm playing zero build. And as a result, you need to make sure that you're not getting headshot sniped. One of those shots means you are down and you will be out. And cars are some of the best free cover that you can get. Just not only rotate around the map really efficiently, but also not get shot. As we are... Oh my god, that guy's juking me for a second there. Taking people down and just having so much fun here as well. Gold rank and silver rank definitely felt like, you know... I was winning most of my games. I think I went on a little bit of a win streak. You're not getting challenged too much early on. But as we start progressing through these different ranks, you'll actually see how things start to get a little bit harder. How I react to things getting harder and how my strategy started to shift as well. And at this point, there's even more players running around. Bro, what are you doing? Get out of there. If you can get this mythic assault rifle, I mean, it is literally a laser beam. And one thing that I really started to learn, really started to appreciate... Was it an assault rifle? For me, at least, an assault rifle. Oh, I should have hit that shot. That was an easy one. An assault rifle with a scope on it is just so, so valuable. The RNG of an assault rifle without a scope, where it's just spraying, is just too much. It, it, it's not good enough, especially if you've got a sniper pointed at your head. You cannot challenge that just with a normal assault rifle. As we get into a top three situation here in gold rank... Um, I, I think someone's in this car or in this bush hiding somewhere. I know someone's up on the mountain towards the other side. As I go in and have a look, look, there was someone in there. I didn't realize. I thought maybe I just left them behind in the bush. I don't know what this person's thinking. They've got the literal like superhero suit on to hide in the truck. And the person up on this hill here had really been like a pain in the butt. I was trying to hold me out here. You can hear them using the grapple and pushing me. My overshield is low. Luckily, some really good little shots going in, taking him down, even with all his medallions. And here, I didn't realize the player was behind me. I didn't even see them in the car. Oh my gosh, run around. And thank goodness the spray from the Mythic AR took him down. Another Vic Boy out. We're now progressing, and I was very happy there. All the way from gold, flying up the ranks, jumping now into platinum. Things getting a little bit tougher here. As we've got to get through another three layers. I started to mix up my drop spot a little bit. Fun fact, this is, I think, one of the first places I ever landed in Chapter 5. Um, also think Mongrel and um, Mr. Savage, as I accidentally hit an NPC there. That's not very good. Use this as their drop spot as well. Tons and tons of loot. I get myself a little gold, beautiful gold spraying shotgun off a of spawn as well. And I think one thing... That when you've used a lot of weapons to go into a lot of gunfights, um, the spammy shotgun this season, I think, makes gunfights a little bit just spray. And I kind of think that this thing needs to be nerfed a little bit or, or maybe just removed and changed for next season. But in zero builds, it really is so powerful. As I'm hunting this guy down, I am not letting this Spider-Man get away. As I track him down in my car, my custom Lamborghini, and I make my way back here to fencing fields. At this point, I'm still being careful still trying to get to that mod bench as I'm modding my sniper every single game and I don't know where this guy came from he must have been crouch walking as well like right hand peak here it works perfectly they run towards me right hand peak very little of my body shown taking them down and I actually at this point was using shockwave nades pretty much exclusively as my mobility now I think the main reason is I love how much distance and control you get over a shockwave nade. But, oh my goodness, I should be dead dead. Whoa! The only thing is with a shockwave nade is it takes a little bit of time to throw it down. Now, it sounds like a massive big noob-like thing, but this is literally the progression I've had while I was playing ranked. I didn't realize at this point that the grappler actually recharged. So I was never picking up. I thought the thing only could be used four times. This guy goes back for all the loot that technically I've earned. So I took him down, even though he tried to pull out a right shield. And at this point, you know, things start to get a little bit more serious. You can't make as many mistakes. You can't mess around. You can't peek too long. You can't have your head sticking out all of the time. Otherwise, people will come along and take you down. This person trying to run me over with their car. How dare they? And um, I'm going for those trucks all the time. Now, the cars become more and more and more important as you progress through these ranks as well. So this person decided to jump out. I think they thought maybe they could crouch walk and surprise me. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. We're taking you down. There's someone else with a medallion nearby that I can see on my minimap right now. But I've said it already and I'll say it again. I've just had so much fun 
making Fortnite a little bit more serious again, where it means something. You're ranking up, you're progressing, you're playing against real players, and it just made it so much more enjoyable. I don't know what that person was trying to do. Hide in the corner. I can see you. You are not getting away with that in a top three position. Now, someone came later out of a storm here. This is where I've got 10 eliminations, getting a little bit confident. I've got positioning. Storm's going to come towards me. The other player I know is within those trees and has got to get past the rock. You can play it slow. Here, I'm starting to peek a little bit too much. I've got to be careful. These headshots can take you down instantly. I need to swap trees. So I basically took down a tree, but I didn't realize he managed to get a body shot on me. I knew he'd push, so I pulled out my shotgun. Got a nice early shot, but miss a few shots. Taken down. Things suddenly, I'm like, ah, I've got to take this a little bit more seriously. Is we're now going from platinum into diamond. Now, here's a big thing that a lot of people don't realize between build mode and no build mode. As I go back to this building with the NPC in, start to make this my main spot. This is the area I just dropped down to so much. I stopped pushing over to fencing fields and getting the mythic quite as much. It was just so risky. But this area, picking up the NPC, another player's pushing me here as well. All of the um, barrels that are here for you to heal with as well. I just absolutely loved it. There could also be a vehicle spawn here as well. Uh, but Diamond, when you get to the top end of Diamond, because there aren't as many people playing no build rank mode, it'll actually merge Diamond players with Elite players with Champion players. And I believe you can go all the way up to Unreal players as well. So although Diamond isn't the highest rank in the world, I genuinely just think that that was an NPC. And I think I just walked past him there. This person tries to take down the boss. They completely leave themselves exposed. Trying to run away. Getting a little bit more sneaky with it. Diamond is tougher. And although it doesn't sound like the highest rank, it is a lot tougher in zero builds because the lobbies are merged together. But that is definitely something that's worth noting if you're playing yourself. This is where things start to get a little bit more serious and we have to focus up. I've basically just been getting wins and very high positioning at this point and having an absolute blast. But Diamond Lobby definitely hit me a little bit harder as I started to get players in here that were a little bit higher and you could run into people that are literally in Unreal despite the fact that you're multiple ranks off. Again, going for the vault here. I'm still customizing. I also was starting to focus on the weather towers quite a lot. Now, the weather towers, uh, if, if you actually take a look, at, like just as you're looking on the map, have a physical tower there. If the, the NPCs are going to spawn in, um, and then you can take them down, enter the key card, and find out where all the storm circles are for the rest of the game. It is such a valuable piece of information. You can see here, I went for it in the storm and it will also give you a few points of percentages by the way towards your ranking up if you can get this so it's worth going for if it's safe and you can get away with it and you feel confident definitely doing it the the, the information and the data you get are so so important at this point like you couldn't be messing around with your aim your shots needed to be on point People were sniping back at you. You had to be so much more careful. Things were getting a lot more serious. But this is where things also started to really feel like they, it was ranked. And if you got punished off of spawn, it was not good for your percentages. And things could be going down as well as up. Now, at this point, ooh, I'm challenging someone. I've got quite a few people with medallions around me. As we're getting into those higher ranks here. Now... I'd never gone anywhere near this rank. I think I'd only played like two games of ranked anything in the past. As I see someone in the bush, watch this. This is one of my favorite shots. 290 ahead, hiding in the bush. See you later. Back to the lobby, my friends. And this was definitely like the hardest games of Fortnite, the harder games of Fortnite I'd played in a long, long time. And I was starting to, I say, sort of get into my rhythm of where I was going, what I was doing, what I was picking up. You can see here, I'm still holding, still holding those shockwaves over anything else in the game. Now, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mythic weren't in-game at this point. So, at this point, they weren't, like, people flying around the map. And here, I was getting a little bit confident. And look at this. Good shots, but they're moving, they're ducking, they're dodging. The movement and the shots are getting so much better from the other players. I need to focus up. I got myself out of diamond into elite, baby. And the great thing is, when you actually rank up and progress into the next level, you see there I went, like, flying into the elite percentages. Though it gets a lot harder to get percentages and actually rank up in elite and champion, because I came from diamond, 
I got the same amount of points I would have done as if I was in diamond, if that makes sense. So I, I, I was quite a decent amount of way into elite. Now, here is where I really started to struggle. Elite, you got punished. If you died off spawn, you're going down percentage-wise. You need to be lasting a long amount of time. And I hadn't had a win in a long time as well. I'm not sure if I got like maybe one or almost none. No wins at all within diamond to get all the way up into elite. So I was progressing a lot, a lot slower here. As you can see, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mythics are in the game. This made it a lot harder in no builds because people were just flying around the map everywhere. Here, I thought someone was going to come out of this building. In no builds, people use any cover possible to try and hide. And I was like, someone is coming out of here. So my game sense was starting to get better. I was starting to move around the map a little bit better, stick to the edges of a storm or move to my next location by tagging the map and making sure I knew which areas would be safe as I moved around. But here, there was barely any cover. Look at this. There's someone on the map with a medallion. I think with every single medallion. This person here. I don't know why they took a shot and ran away. This still confuses me to, like, this day. There's only me, the medallion player, and another player that I think is hiding. This person played a little bit scared, which confused me a little bit. They, I didn't take any damage, which is great. And also to help with your ranking up, if you deal more damage than the damage you take, that will help with your percentage progression as well. All of these little things are going to help you. To get myself a little bit of a reset, a bit more ammo, a better full, fully auto shotgun here. Players, although this one I don't know what they were doing. Bam, bam, bam. Good movement. Again, good movement, but not good enough movement. My heart is pounding. Top two here. This is one of the high positions I've had in solo um, elite ranked play. As I actually just miss a few of the mythics. I thought they were going to get picked up automatically, but they definitely did not. I only have a green assault rifle. This person's thrown down bunkers. It's actually not looking good for me at all. I need to get out of here. Stop taking damage. And again, using the environment to your advantage. This helped a lot. Just using natural cover and making sure that you're going to be okay. This person throws themselves down the map. As I get the mythics to help myself go down here as well. And these, this is an interesting setup because the person is running away. I like the two times on the assault rifle. Like, I don't mind it. Mustn't have any bunkers left. At this point, I'm like, wait a second. I've got to go to him. But he's also at the edge of a storm in a bush. So this is one of my favorite plays. Just saying. Just saying. I've got some shockwaves, right? I'm doing some damage, but he's just staying hiding. What if, and this is a risky play because I could get shot as I move in. I pull out my shockwave, line it up with the bush, throw it in, yeet them out of the bush, into the storm. Bam! My first win in quite a little while, throwing me into my highest ever rank again. Champion, I was one off of Unreal. And things get serious, serious here. This progression is mega slow. Now, I actually had a little bit of a time restraint on me. At the time recording this video and the time you're watching this video, I am actually away on holiday and I'm not coming back until right at the end of this season. So I had to hit reach Unreal rank before I went away. Otherwise, it just would not happen. In champion rank here, to get a win with a lot of kills, you're maybe going up 10%. If you last until top 10 and only getting a few kills, you're literally going up like 1 or 2%. Here I team up with Prospering. This guy is fifth in the world for wins. He is a huge zero build player, having won tons of tournaments, and he ends up coaching me and we play together to try and get as much rank as we possibly can. But he gets taken down and the rest of the game is on me to try and revive and get back into the action. So I'm going to let you jump into some live gameplay here. Was it another team? Yeah, another team. Fingers crossed I can make it in time. Yeah, you got, you got 40 seconds. Okay. I wouldn't boost. Okay, okay. Point. So here, I would grab the car, pop all your bandies in the storm. Oh, it's so loud. Good clutch, though. Nice. All right, we're back in. We're back in. Oh, you have a right in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you shoot that one, one down, one down. Nice. Other one right here. One on five. Let's go, baby. Come on. Can I get a big pop? And they got Mythic for us. Another team right here in open. One of five. Whited, White. whited. One of five, now. <clears throat> 28, white, white, white. He died, he died. Wow, oh, everyone's stealing our kills. In front of us. Yeah. Dead. Nice, good kill. I'm coming in really late to our right. See that? Mm -hmm. Behind the trees yeah, to our yeah, right, yeah. That, that rock. Yeah, I see him. One of five. Dead. Dead. Let's nice. go. Yeah, flying in. White it, white it. 
switch it out. So we just gotta leave it for now. Okay, we're gonna play for that high ground. Okay. Whenever the zone starts moving. And now I'm gonna get up here. Got us a bunker. Great play, great play, great play. Mm-hmm. And we just gotta gotta hit these shots. Yeah, we're gonna we hit these shots. In the bunker. We really gotta find it. Yeah, to the right. There's the door, there's the door. Missed every single one of my shots, I'm a bot. You're chilling. Duel's pressuring him, they're behind his rock. I missed. They're okay. behind his rock right here. Gonna ignore the solo we, for the moment. We, we could dash to the street, to the street. They hit me. Nice. nice. 105 on one. He's one. I'm gonna kill one. One weak, weak, whited, one's white. Other one I don't okay. know. Guy on you, I'm not sure. Other guy's one. Behind his tree. Nice. Behind his tree. Wait, where? Coming up on you. Coming up on you. Let's yes, go. baby. Come on. That was it. We got a win in champion. And me and him played for hours and hours. Getting myself up to about halfway through champion. But that is actually all the time I had. My journey was cut short because of the fact that I was going away. But this makes me even more motivated to eventually hit Unreal next season. If you want me to go for it again, maybe live stream some of the progress. Let me know by hitting the like button on this video. I had so much fun playing ranked. I'm so excited to get back into it again. Huge thank you to Prospering for helping me in champion league. And you can click on screen here to watch another Fortnite video. I really hope you enjoyed something different and i'll see you on another video